hello guys welcome to this new video here in this video we are going to talk about the restoration mixing what is restoration mixing and how we can use it in our flutter application so the first question is why we need it let's take an example you are using an app and inputting something okay input like a text input after some time you thought that let's do some other work and your app goes into background after some time your operating system come and kill the app and when you come back later and want to do the same work then your previous progression is got deleted from the app because when you restart the app the, our flutter app again introduce you to the home screen not your progress it don't memorize your progress so it is very frustrating sometime if you are doing something important like if you are uh, uh, filling up a form or if you editing something in your flutter app okay so to restore the user session we are going to use the restoration mixing it is nothing but it is a platform specific implementation of restoration techniques okay so here in your screen this is a flutter counter app this is a default app you can get when you uh, initialize a flutter project to run this thing just type flutter run so this is our android emulator so here you can see this is our default flutter app okay when you uh, click it then the counter progress and if we kill the app then again and reopen the app then we can see our counter become zero it means that it don't remember anything about the user input about the current state okay so to store the uh, user state we can use restoration mixing this is the restoration mixing here uh, you can read about it and one thing i want to be very clear about that it manages the restoration data for the state object of stateful widget it does not work in stateless widget okay you have to make a stateful widget to work with the restoration mixing you can read about it if you want to know some detailed information about it you can read this documentation so here in our flutter app at first what we have to do that we have to add this restoration scope id in inside the material app after you have added the restoration scope id i i have set it to root you can use anything any string you want after that uh, here in the stateful widget this is the my home page stateful widget and here in the uh, state okay just type with restoration mixing okay so uh, after that just hover over this um, you know uh, red squiggly line and click on a quick fix and it says that create two missing overrides and here in the bottom of our app it uh, produced two overrides which override uh, to get restoration id and restoration state after that what we have to do in our counter this is a normal integer counter but here with restoration mixing we have to do we have to change this integer as restoration integer restorable int and here in the counter here we change the counter from a normal integer to restorable integer here in the set state just type counter dot value so it the value gives us the normal integer so to you know uh, display this counter we have to do one thing here here in the counter just type counter dot value okay and all the thing is done but two things left here in the override section 
it gives us unimplemented error now just uh, you know it wants some restoration id it should be unique and here for this uh, you know counter app i make it a counter here in the restoration state just type register for restoration here in the property we have to add this counter okay and we need a restoration id it can be anything but for uh, this page we name it as counter integer okay and it gives us some error i think it should be final so all the things are done to test this counter app now it is working like the normal one but what we have to do we, we have to run our flutter app again so here you can see this is our flutter app but with the restoration mix in to uh, to emulate the you know the app is killed by the os what we have to do just go to the settings and enable developer option and then uh, and then go to the developer option and scroll to the app section that is the app yeah here turn on the don't keep activities after you have turned on this thing come back to our flutter app And here you can see it is working like the normal one but when it uh, you know uh, goes and when it goes to the background and after some time we come back and open our app here you can see it, it restores the state means the state is restored this is a very simple example how you can use a restoration mixing in your flutter app in the second part we are going to look at how we how we can use the restoration state means the restoration mixing in an text input so it is an so it is an input screen here in the input screen we define a text editing controller and when and define a text field and also you know the we add this controller here we, we define here okay so here this is a simple text field example to do this just go to our material app and in the home we change it as text input screen okay done now let's read on our flutter app so this is our flutter app with a text input screen here you can see we can input our text this is a very simple app okay so if we i mean send it to the background and restore it you see our inputs are gone how to restore it very simple like the other one here in the stateful widget uh, here just type with restoration mixing here also appear a red squiggly line go to the quick fix and create two mixing uh, you know override and here we have to do that it is not text editing controller it is a normal thing but to restore our but to restore our uh, you know text field to restore the state we have to convert it to a restorable text editing controller okay here in init state we have to type restorable text editing controller
restorable text editing controller major thing is done and here in the controller we have to type controller dot value okay and in the override section we have to again pass some unique string for this i just type and input restoration and here we have again implement restore register sorry we have to type register for restoration the property here the property is controller right type controller and here in the restoration id we have to uh, you know put a unique uh, restoration id i type input controller okay the thing is done let me uh, you know remove this okay so we have to uh, run this app again if we type flutter run so this is our app with restoration mixing okay just type hello world we all do this right in our, our first programming you know this is our first program we can we write in our programming journey in the hello world okay so uh, this is done a user come up type uh, to this thing and he thinks that let's take some rest and the app goes to background okay after some time when he come up and then let's see wh where i was and voila this is your thing this is your you know you have just restored your user interaction the user state from the restoration from the restoration mixing with the help of this okay so the thing is fairly simple if you want to know more about this you you can follow me on twitter and give a dm there and also if you want to know more about it you can read this documentation okay if you go till depth about it how to restore the you know how to restore routes how the routes are worked okay so for all this thing you can uh, read this documentation if you like the video and if you're new here just hit the like button and also subscribe i make this type of videos and you can share it with your friends it helps the channel to grow so this is december 31 and i wish you a happy new year